You're not going to win. He is, he is going to win. He is going to win. He is representing his own goddamn neighborhood. I'm like the rest of y'all. Uh, anyone want to sign the petition? Yeah, I'll sign it. Uh, uh, Councilman-elect? Is that what you want? I'll sign it. No, I'm sorry. Right. You got to come around here. Sorry. Please put your mask on, though. Please be careful. Here's another one. Here, again, I will keep I will keep just repeating these facts and figures at you. But be nice. Stop cursing. I know. Here's the thing. I don't have to. Wait, what about? What about? You can say whatever the fuck she wants to say. Wait, yeah, God, back God. the fuck up. Wait, you're, you're acting you like, back the you're fuck acting up. like vulgar little you're children. You are a child. Then I'm a child. I'm a child who can vote. 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 Oh my god. Oh, I'm ignorant. I pulled up stats. Pull up some fucking stats. Pull up some fucking stats. Pull up some fucking stats. Fuck, fuck, fuck. fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah. Not I literally, I'm literally, I'm so sorry, but you guys sound so vote? ignorant because not a single person here has refuted a fact. Yeah. I registered to vote in Texas, actually. Where? We're all registered to vote. You're all registered in Queens. You're not. I am not. I'm registered I am, but I'm in Texas. Not, I'm not signing anything. You're registered paper. as a socialist. None of your. No. Yeah. It's none of, none of your. You're registered as a socialist. Don't worry about it. Maybe we are. Worry Maybe about we about are. I, but don't worry. Do about you it. vote? I do vote. Yeah. Sure about that. Do you vote? Yeah. Yeah, and actually, you vote for. I vote for Trump. Who we I know. Vote for? Yeah. You know I, I voted know. for Trump. Yeah. That's kind of a yikes. I mean, I could pull you a teacher. What's your profession? Trump 2020. Let's, let's continue to drop that. You're down. used to it, bitches. Oh, no wonder you're a fucking loser. <laughs> Listen, yo, I, here's the thing. I am 19 years old. I am a yeah. division and one you're athlete. you're a child. I am a division one athlete. You're a child. I am more educated than you. She's a child. 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 It got a little rough. Hey, you know, I tested him on Facebook. You know, I get back there all the time. I got black crime here. Sir, sir, I'll pull up the same stats I just pulled up. 43%. Here's another one. I'll pull up. I'm I'm I know y'all have seen it too. I know y'all have seen it.
This is a far cry from the nonsense we've seen over the last couple of months over in uh, the city, right? Absolutely. I mean, is, we need a little bit more of this, but I'm looking over to my left, and there's a shirt a gentleman's wearing that Modell's released when Ramos and Lou were shot and killed. Right? Everyone remembers that in 2014 when Ramos and Lou were shot and killed? That's when all this nonsense started, and it's sad that nearly six years later, we're back here, and I believe, what was it, last night, two Texas officers were ambushed and killed? And nobody's seeing all of this, the greatest of what New York has to offer, right here. Everyone giving their own time to support the men and women in blue that go out every single day and really want to make a difference. But in the media, you wouldn't think that with all the nonsense you see, with all the activism of some people on that side that don't even know what they're cheering and protesting for. But I want to thank everyone for coming out. I'm still active. And a lot of the cops, they're kind of demoralized. They're kind of deflated. But when they see things like this and people all over the nation, this is what makes people remember why they do what they do. You know, we, we need more of this. We need more of the voices. You can't be the silent majority anymore. You have to push back. I'm not saying with violence. I'm not saying that. But you need to show the world, and especially this city, where our hearts are, how much we care about this city, how not only do we want our officers safe, but everyone, all of the five boroughs deserves to feel safe. No one should have to worry about the bullets flying overhead, whether you're in Staten Island or Brooklyn or the Bronx. You know, officers should be able to go out there and do their jobs and be able to save the people that they want to save. So I want to thank everybody once again from the bottom of my heart. This means a lot to me, seeing all this out here. This is special. Keep doing it and do not stop.
gone to an all-time crime high. It's you know 28 shootings, Fourth of July weekend, and we're we're here to support the police. One bad cop doesn't represent the entire PD of a country, just like rioters don't represent the largely peaceful protesters going around the country. Why are we generalizing for the cops and we're not doing it for the protesters? So the message that we had today was just one of peace and of support for the people who keep us safe, who keep you and I, and we can commute in this city safely without actually being stabbed, shot at, like we're seeing this video that's going around the last three days that's disturbing, of one man stabbing two older gentlemen in the, in the 7 train, which is a train I commute in to go in, to, in, in and out of Manhattan. So it's been a, a, a very disturbing time within the last 30 to 60 days in the city and around the country. And I think that more patriots and more people in general need to stop looking at, R and, at R's and D's and start looking at common sense and protecting what's right for our livelihood. What did you think of those protesters? Because they, they were a small group, but then all of a sudden they... Well, look, they're, they're well organized. We've never... Dis we, we can all agree to that. Uh, they have their beliefs. It's freedom of speech. I might not agree to what they're saying, but I'm not counter-protesting them, and I'd appreciate it if they would, if they were to come counter-protest us, if they would be more peaceful about it. You know, there's no need for violence and vulgarity, and that's all that they spew in every single incident and every single altercation that I've actually seen. So it's just one that I think they need improvement in their message, message delivery. Mm, great. Can I ask Black Lives person? Matter? Yeah, my name's George. No, last last name, last okay. name Santos. I'm also a congressional and candidate what? for New York's third. Oh. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Card. Well, you know, the council is there. The city council is Right, but what John was in the state center. Oh, but the bail reform is okay with the pedophiles and everything. Bail reform is okay. Bail reform. Do you know why? That's why you're here. Good luck. Are you with me? Ma'am, do you? Good luck. She's Puerto Rican and Jewish. I'm Puerto Rican Jew. Tell your friend John. It's going to be a problem. I want to. I don't think so. Is she racist now? Really? Yes. There's no chance a Republican could win in this issue. Stop. But anyway, you're going to lose. I guess you're having trouble with Puerto Ricans. Yeah, let's talk about it. Actually, let's talk about it. Well, nobody like me. I don't think you met Where you from? Like Where you from? I'm from Puerto Rico. Where? Bayamon. Bayamon? Yo, I know I, I know, I know Bayamon. I had a girlfriend there for a year. Do you support I, I, I don't know I'm but I prefer oh, to speak English. No, no. Yesterday, I had a girlfriend in Bayamon. Hey, listen to me. Yesterday, you let me get a word in there. Yesterday. I was going to say, I had a girlfriend in Bayamon. I'm one of my best friends in Carolina. Man, man, man. I know the island like the back of my hand. Okay, thank you. Good luck. Good luck. You're going to need it. She's going to need it. That's a against American flag. I'm sorry. Well. I'm sorry. American flag. American. I'm just you know what an American no, flag is? No, have you ever really? not? Have you ever had an American just, flag? Can not I talk? Just just easy. Easy. My parents know what it is. Excuse me. No, that was the child. Racist? Racist? What's racist? What's racist? My parents. What about my parents? Wait, wait. You want to break my parents? She's a little girl. I'm criticizing. She's a little girl. I'm a little girl. Yeah, you're a little girl. So they're not gonna walk up on you. So, so look. You look like you want to talk about my American flag? Show me your American flag. That I'm wearing. This man right here owns the American flag. You're running for office, sir. You're running for political office for city council, sir. What district, sir? Did you tell everyone what district you're running in? I'm running in district 36. District 36. And were you primary or? It went right in, and oh, in 2021. Oh, so you're not even on the ballot yet. So you don't even know what you're talking about. You're not on the ballot. Signatures don't start until February. Oh, so you're going to run for the party line. What makes you think the Democrats are going to give you the line? Pardon? What makes you think that the Democrat Party is going to give you the line? A socialist or whatever party you're with. I don't need to talk. I don't think that I'll ever see you on the ballot. You'll never be on the ballot. You'll never. I'll put on my mask out of the common courtesy for everybody here. Please do it. Please do it. I won't do it. I'll put on my mask you all lives matter, because I'm standing next to the police COVID officer. 19. That's why I'm putting on my right? mask. Here we go. For him. So you don't have a mask on. No disrespect Never to will the American flag. Never will. To the flag of the United States. That's right. Yeah, and all lives matter. The flag should matter. not be dipped Apparently. to any person or thing. Regimental colors, state flags, and or organization or institutional flags are to be dipped as a mark of honor. The flag should never be displayed with the union down, except as a signal of dire distress. Oh, the flag should never touch anything beneath it, such as the ground. The floor, water, 
or merchandise. Well, then why do you burn it? Bro, I, I did you see me burning a flag here? Nobody saw me burning a flag here, so you're just making shit up. Well, where's your flag? Why do I have to have a flag? You don't have to have a flag. I don't. That's the point. But why can't I have one? This country was literally built on slavery. If this country does not exist without it, this is not a fucking country. No, I'm not saying you can't have one. I'm saying you wearing one is literally disrespecting the flag, and I think that's It is. The flag should never be used as wearing apparel, bedding, or drapery. What is that? The American, no, Cornell Law. Oh, that's fake news. Oh, this is fake news. Oh, why didn't you just say so? I'm allowed to have Cornell Law. You're allowed to. I'm just saying you wearing it is literally disrespectful. I'm just saying it is literally disrespectful, and it's kind of funny to me because you're trying to say, oh, I'm a proud American by disrespecting the flag. Well, is that disrespectful flag? I have an so. Yeah, it is. It literally is. It literally is. I don't know. Do you think, do you think that's disrespecting the flag? For the law. Here's, here's another thing. No, I don't. But sorry, why, don't why don't you think that's disrespecting the flag? That's a flag sign. Um, the flag should be red, white, and blue. Oh, here's another thing. The flag should never, the flag should never be used for advertising purposes in any manner whatsoever. Blue lives matter. Where y'all at? Right there. Right there. <laughs> there you go. That's a police flag. Oh, so, yeah, that's, that's, that's a police flag. It's a police officer's right? funeral. There's a different flag on the coffin. Like I said, the police department. Flag. Listen, I'm not. That's not the police again, department flag. Again, it's not about my that's feelings. Here's the thing. I don't care about my personal feelings. I don't give a fuck what you feel. Let me ask you a question. What about? I don't give a fuck. I'm saying. Can I get a sentence? Legally, y'all are. Can I get a sentence? So, sure. what about the police officer's family, the what children? The, the, I grew up like, like police officer, wondering if he was coming home every night. He came home. Sometimes he didn't. He was in the hospital. Uh, what about my, my friend's what about family, my who was murdered by the Wednesday night precinct a couple of weeks ago by four cops who came into his house without a warrant? Oh, yeah, machete. Them. What about that? Oh, yeah, machete. Were you there? Were you there? They're not allowed to defend themselves, of course. They, they came into his house. They didn't have a warrant to come into his house. He's not allowed to defend himself when somebody illegally breaks into his house. Also, uh, well, where's where's the where's the body cam footage? Where's the cop's name? He was tased. He was not shot. Was what fucking difference does it make? They murdered him. Well, that's what you say. That's your opinion. That's not. 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 That's not.